Mohamed Zakari is turning 80. He's had a long and distinguished career, but his work is found in private collections and in museums. Museums typically exhibit 5% of their collections, so it's actually quite difficult to see his work. He's also someone whose work has been seen by millions because of the Eid stamp, and he has an extremely robust presence on the internet, but that is in some ways ephemeral because as time passes, those internet links get broken and get buried deep. So there isn't a book that's completely devoted to his work and the impact that he's had on the practice of classical calligraphy in the 20, 20th and 21st century. That's one thing. The other thing is that he has this amazing life story that in some ways is, is very particular and very individual, but is also kind of evocative of our times. Someone who transitions between different cultures, different religions, and does so with a lot of scholarly understanding, erudition, humility, um, incredible ability to communicate with people. It just seemed a really important story to tell. It positions Muhammad Zakaria at the center of the book, but it does so by talking through a variety of perspectives. So there's the words of Muhammad Zakari himself. There are some scholars that talk about the role of calligraphy or his place in it. There's um, artists and students of his. There's senior colleagues from Turkey and elsewhere. They all, they all have slightly different perspectives. They see Muhammad Zakari in some ways in similar ways, but in other ways differently. And so the idea was to get this kind of robust picture of a complicated person and a wider universe um, in which he's very active and has had a huge impact. Truthfully, my personal interest in Islamic calligraphy is through my son, who is a student of Muhammad Zakaria's and a master calligrapher himself now. But as a historian of Islamic art, I've always been aware of the importance of it. But at the same time, I mean, in the history of Islamic art, Calligraphy is always described as the most important art form, but the way it's talked about is, is quite limited. It talks about scripts, it talks about the relationship between the research, received word of God and the Quran, but it doesn't, in Islamic art, we don't talk about how calligraphy is important in people's day-to-day -day lives, and we don't really have the historic resources to talk about the lives of calligraphers. So this was a way to kind of fill a gap for students of Islamic art and scholars of Islamic art about a way to understand Islamic calligraphy that goes in a different direction than just appreciating scripts or appreciating historic periods. About three years ago, four years ago, um, Aisha Imam and Josh Bearer and I were just talking about the legacy of Muhammad Zakaria and how ephemeral it could be and because it's at this point at that point was carried through people and the fact that his work is hard to see because it's in private collections and it just seemed like with this this major milestone birthday coming up that it was time to start thinking about his legacy in a more tangible way so the exhibition that um, we're enjoying now the symposium and the book are all part of that same project to, to build a legacy that will endure beyond Eid stamps and internet appearances. I mean, of course, his impact on his students is a legacy that carries through and has a huge impact, but that is um, a personal one, and de that legacy depends on those people passing it through. We wanted to have something more tangible, and as a scholar, for me, that's a book. And that was, that was a big reason for doing the book.